Hi, it's Heather Barberi back again from the Barberi Law Firm. And today we're going to talk about um, some of the most popular questions that people will ask me regarding their Miranda rights. Um, a lot of times people want to know what they mean. So here I am today and I'm going to basically address the top three questions when it comes to being arrested and having your rights read to you. First, do the police need to read Miranda warnings before questioning a suspect? And the answer is clear, yes. Um, the United States Supreme Court requires it. The police must read a suspect their Miranda warnings before they interrogate them, as long as they are in custody. So what is being in custody? Well, that means that a reasonable person would conclude that they're not free to go. That's as simple as it gets. Um, however, be mindful that statements that are volunteered by somebody and just blurted out while they're in custody without an interrogation by police, well, they can be used against them. So it doesn't matter if the police read their Miranda warnings at all. Second, do the police need to use specific words in reading the Miranda warnings? A lot of times um, people will ask me, hey, if they leave out a certain portion, does that mean the case is thrown out? Well, the answer is no. Um, the police do not need to read certain words when they're talking about your Miranda warnings and when they're advising you of those. They simply need to convey the essence of the Miranda rights, like you have the right to remain silent. You know, if you cannot afford an attorney, an attorney will be appointed for you. Just the gist of it, basically. And the third question, I'm, I'm always getting this one. Hey, if they didn't read me my Miranda rights, um, can my case get thrown out? Um, great question, but the answer is it kind of depends. Um, look, a police officer, if they arrest you, take you into the police station, they never really have to read you your Miranda rights. It is only if they're interrogating you and what you say after that that has anything to do with Miranda protections. So keep that in mind. Look. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that you're bulletproof and that you know that probably the case is going to be thrown out. Um, instead, why don't you rely on somebody who's a professional who can basically kind of coach you through it and um, help you determine whether or not your rights have been violated or not. Um, that's what we're here for. Um, reach out to the barbarylawfirm.com, call us, go to our website, and we'd be glad to talk to you about it.